Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily filter a data. Here is the sales data for various regions across six months. Let's say we wanted to see the data only for the East region. And let's say I choose East. You can get the data for East region with sales greater than 30,000. And let's say if I wanted to change it to 40,000, you get the data just for the East region with sales greater than 40,000. This is easily achievable in Excel now with the new function. And let's see how to do that. Here is the sales data for a company across four regions for six months. To look at specific part of the data, you can use the filter option in Excel. So let's select the header and click on filter. So now let's say if you wanted to see the north region, all we need to do is select north and you get the north data. And if you want to see the sales greater than, let's say, 35,000, select greater than 35,000, and you get all the data here, which is greater than 35,000. Using the filter method is easy when a criteria is simple. As soon as we have multiple criteria of, let's say, region and sales greater than specific numbers, it adds a lot of steps. The other important limitation of using this method is you need to work on the actual data which may not be desired in many cases. This can be easily overcome with the new Excel function called filter. So let's see how to use the filter function. Let me just first show you how to use the formula and then we will use the filter criteria, which is very dynamic. I've just placed the header information because the filter function would not return the headers. So let's go to cell G7 and type in the formula equal to filter of the array we're going to select our whole data and what is the criteria so let's see that we want to see all the north region data so we need to select our array which has the region which is from cell c7 to c30 should be equal to in double quotes put your criteria and the next parameter is if the filter has nothing to return, what the output should be. And in our case, let's put it as none. I'm just going to close the formula and press enter. There, we've got the data for the north region for all the months. Notice the blue box. This shows the amount of data the filter function is returning. So if I click outside this box, the blue outline is not shown, but as soon as I click anywhere within this data, it shows the data which is returned by the dynamic filter function. Notice that the data will not be formatted when we use the filter function. So if you know that we are expecting some particular type of format, we need to format that cells beforehand. So in this case, I'm just going to select these cells and change it to a currency option. Now let's say I wanted to see the data for the south region. We could go to our cell G7 and then change this to south. And there you can get the data for south region. To make it easier, we could link our selection of region to a cell. So let's again go to cell G7 and type in the formula. And let's go to this part of the formula and remove the hard coded value. To cell H2. Press enter. We get none as the output now because we have not selected a region. And here I put a simple data validation. And if I select West, I can get the data for the West region. If I select East, I can get data for the East region. Let's say we now wanted to add a criteria of looking at a particular region and also sales value which is greater than a particular amount. This can be easily achieved by modifying a filter formula. So let me first put in a sales value, let's say of greater than 35,000. So let me go to cell G7 now and update our formula. 
right now we have only one condition where we say the c7 is to c30 which is our region portion should be equal to h2 now we also want to add a condition of the sales which is cell d7 to d30 should be greater than 35000 or cell h3 to do that we can go and modify our formula so let's go to the formula and the condition portion let's first put our first condition into brackets and since this is an and condition where the region needs to be east and the sales greater than 35000 we need to multiply these conditions by putting an asterisk and opening a new bracket and choosing the sales array which is cell d7 to d30 should be greater than h3 and close the bracket and if we press enter now you will see the data which complies to east region and sales is greater than 35,000. So if I change this let's say to 40,000 we get data only for January and March in east region because those sales were greater than 40,000. We can also execute an OR condition. Let's say we wanted to get the data for all east regions or if any sales is greater than 40,000. So that's a very simple tweak to the formula. So if you go to the cell G7 and now our formula shows that the region needs to be east and the sales needs to be greater than 40,000. All we need to do is change the AND to OR which can be easily done by changing the asterisk to a plus which executes an OR function. And when you press enter now, we get data for all east regions immaterial of what the sales are or any month and region combination which has sales greater than 40,000. The filter function is very powerful, especially for reporting. It gives us the ability to slice and dice our data without affecting the original data. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.